<laughs> you don't. Nobody said, look, bro, this is the nigga that's never had any success in radio and music. <laughs> I'm going to go find my old phones tonight. Tonight, I'm going to go find my old phones and show you where this nigga crying like a bitch about <laughs> why niggas won't help him with his artists. This real shit. Now, now, let me, let me, I, I can hear him in the background. Let me correct you, right? Of course you can't go take my contracts, right? But what he was trying to do is move me out the way of my butt. First of all, what he what he attempted to do, him and Shug, was to move me out of my budgets. Of course, you can't take my contract. Second of all, if you go pull up um, this nigga Nipsey's first um, album, right? No way you were in there before me because Ray J's first album that he said was a flop, Our Sexy Can I, Five Times Platinum, definitely wasn't a flop. A flop. But he wouldn't know nothing about that because he was still running around the streets begging niggas for money and begging niggas for handouts, right? That, to date, did not. If you ask Wack, say, well, Wack 100 in the music business, you're going to say Ray J, you're going to say Game, you're going to say Blueface, right? Then I can put a whole lot of other shit around it. Now, you're not big you what's this accolades in the music business i'm waiting say so i need you to tell me because i don't know I this understand. is what i'm saying this nigga this nigga right here bro was riding off my coattail when this nigga was broke since you want to talk about it when your house was in foreclosure nigga you was calling on whack and i was going to get you checks overseas checks for corrupt 30 and 40,000 at a time that you never told corrupt about and you put in your motherfucking pocket, my nigga. If we're going to talk about it, let's talk about it, right? You went up in that motherfucking spot with Suge on the phone and tried to do some snake shit. You know I called you on it. We talked about it. End of the day, it couldn't happen. The reason why niggas like that is mad at me because he thinks his name is supposed to mean something. See, I figured a long, I realized a long time ago watching you, right, that when I'm fucking with you and then you smiling in the niggas' faces, but then you cutting their throat as soon as you turn their back, his own man Nipsey, right? Nipsey, right? Before Nipsey died, there was Ace Boom Coon, right? Even Nipsey, right? He helped Nipsey get a deal. Nipsey got the fuck away from him. Nipsey blew up on his own, double back, gave the nigga a shot was fucking with him, Nipsey get killed, right? So the whole time Nipsey with you was cool. 30 days after this man was in the ground, you know what Big U did? What? Hit whack and said, fuck that whack. I need to go get 30% of Nipsey Hustle's estate for the money he owed. I say, hold on, bro. Y'all got into about that shit seven, eight years ago. He dead. You didn't mention none of this shit when he was on the side of you, when y'all was in the studio and you was giving him out awards and all this shit. You never said nothing. Now you gonna wait till he dead and go, nah, whack. I want you to do it with your legal. You do it for me. I got that on my text. I got that content on my text where you sent me the full contract with all y'all names your name, Nipsey name, Steve LaBelle name, the clause when you was trying to get 30%, all that. I said, hey, homie, that shit ain't right. That man is dead. I can't fuck with him. Nigga, I got the not. I'm going to send it to you from my phone. Oh, Paru, I got that. And my hey, other you... phone, listen, my other phone, he right. I just got to find it. I got him. I got Suge. And it's another homie from Bompton that was on the phone. He know who I'm talking about when we addressed him about that shit he did. Right, with Alan Grumblack, right? Of course, I'm not gonna bring Alan Grumblack on fucking Clubhouse. I make millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars with this man. This man is a businessman, right? But again, he said, Big, you name is relevant. Your name is not relevant. You actually a confused individual. I'm gonna tell you why. Big, you was the rolling 60 crib. But then you got Big, you in contract with the 77th Street 
motherfucking gang unit, the police, LAPD, which I got that content too. I got that signed. I, I told you, my people went and got all the contracts with him signed. Nigga, this Blackberry phone, I used to ask him about, why do you got this Blackberry phone? Do you know what it spells out in the contract? The Blackberry phone is a police issue phone that you are to call in any crime or any activity in your area. I don't give a fuck how you try to sugar sugarcoat it. Ain't no street nigga supposed to be in contract with the police. That's a fact. That's this a is fact. And I got the contract fully executed where they paying this nigga a half a million dollars a year, right, annually. And then you know what else they say? They gave him a raise for 440000 When I asked somebody how he would get a raise, he said the same way anybody else get a raise. By producing and doing a great job. I have that contract and that content, right? Wow, so that's crazy you say that because like... I ha know, look, do not. I got full contract, signed, stipulated details, everything. Nigga, ain't no, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, you get the popularity vote. But even your own homies, any nigga claim himself been to the penitentiary, walk these streets, did any time, it put in any work, no, there's nothing in the rule books that says we can be in contract with the LAPD. Facts. Right? Secondly, right? He has no accolades in music. None. He has no catalog, nothing tied to a company that has sold millions of records. Nothing. He can't claim Nipsey. You know how I know? Because I got the contracts you sent to me when you wanted me to go in and rape his family behind a back, back door and act like you didn't know what was going on. You know what I'm saying? I got those contracts that you sent from your number. Big U, number, mutual, both the contracts. I got all that. You can pull up the date Nipsey died, and I'm going to show you the date he sent him. That man was in the ground 40 days, bro, and he running around pro-Nipsey. That nigga came to my motherfucking house, and I'm going to say it, my homeboy Jake, Jake Capone, in my backyard, me, him, and bitch, you in my game room, the house I'm at now, and told us Nipsey was a snitch. That came from his mouth. I never knew nothing about this. Now, the sex tapes and all that shit, he know that exists. He know it exists, and he know I've been keeping it from coming out, right? But at the end of the day, nigga, big you name don't control the algorithm. And let's talk about it. What's up, Mickey? The dude that just got sucking the transgender's dick three different ways. That don't <laughs> work, Big U. That's his argument. <laughs> no, no, this nigga like to claim like all his shit. Nigga, one thing he know about whack, I've been on, can't nail one of them niggas claim they gave me nothing, put no money on my table, but they all then came to whack for something. All of them then came to whack for something. And that's a fact. But since he want me to start putting out the contracts and putting out the content, I right, no problem. Make sure you got that clip for me tonight and we're going to start running the content. There's one thing about me, bro. If I say I got it, I got it. But since he's saying all my acts is flops, did he say Ray J was a flop? Nigga, sexy can I? Nigga, you know how much money we made on that shit, boy. He said the single. He said the album flop, not the single. Bro, listen. When a project sells records collectively, it's not a flop. Now watch this. Does he have an album? Hey, who's I got, like, who I got artists? Like, hey, hey, he up. Ain't he cheated, Uncle? <laughs> no, nah, they ain't related by blood at all. They have no blood relation. No, he doesn't have Where, an album. What is his, listen, what is his accolades in music? Every group, everybody he didn't sign, nobody never heard about him. This shit ain't went nowhere. What is your accolades when it comes to music? Give me one. I can show you where money's been made, where we've sold units. Well, I got plaques, plaques. I got like seven, eight plaques, probably more than that. I'm waiting. Outside of you doing some 
punk ass thug shit that I ain't into. Oh, if they want to go over here, we doing that. Nigga, you 55 years old. Fuck all that. And furthermore, the not, I'm about to really fuck you up with this. You ready with that? You ready for something? I'm ready. <laughs> Have you ever heard of Hannibal? Yes. You know who that is? I'm about to fuck you up. All right, I'm a, I'm you want to think about whack? I know who I am and who I ain't. You ever heard of Hannibal? You know who Hannibal is? Hannibal Lecter, right? That's what you're talking oh, about, right? Ready? Okay. Who was big you, Denot? I don't fucking know. I know that nigga has an internet nigga. That's he's a street he's... dude from Rolling Sixties, right? Yeah, pretty much. You know who Hannibal is? It, it... That's his Muslim name. Snickers oh, confused. Oh, big you. Snickers confused, bro. Yeah, and see, I don't I feed you. off into it because of all that. You get the popularity, bro. Cool. Vic, you know he ain't never had more money than me. He know he didn't dick roll me. Nigga, you know you didn't came and asked me for favor. You know all that shit. And I can get into some personal shit, nigga. I done looked out for you, nigga. You, your family. I done pulled strings, nigga, for your motherfucking sons. All kind of shit, nigga. So I ain't gonna even go off into it. But if he keep running my name as if I'm not who I am, and that as if he has never come to me for favor, donations, could I get a donation? I ain't never asked that nigga for a dime, bro. I've always been good. But, you know, <laughs> I'm just on some real shit. He cannot say I ever asked him for a dime, nigga. But not one red penny. The nigga was jealous. I done seen him snake on three, four motherfuckers as part of his circle. So I chose to get the fuck away from him. I got, I'm going to find my phone where this nigga was actually in there why you won't help me with my artist? <laughs> hey, you, you, ever, you ever got mad because you said I wouldn't help you with your artist, nigga? I thought you was big you. I thought you was the man. Damn, homie. I thought you was the man, homie. <laughs> I thought you was the man. If you the man, why you coming to me? I'm just, I'm, I'm waiting. Big U, the music mogul, who, who, tell me what his accolades are, bro. My, my point. Damn, there you have it, bro. It seems like a lot of hating. And it seems like... Ask the, that nigga, that did you a Big U for the record? Y'all make this shit go viral. Did you ever get at whack 100 about going after 30% of Nifty Hustle's motherfucking shit after he was dead and I told you that wasn't gangster? Did you ever send me the contract, nigga? I dare you to say I did, nigga. I dare you to say you did, nigga. But he playing one role in front of everybody else and he a whole nother nigga in the, in the, in the darkness, bro. I can't fuck with that, homie. I can't fuck with it. Yeah, that's crazy. I, I don't fuck with oh, shit like that, dude. Oh, it's I got crazy. the direct text message of the same number he still has today. The same number. Same number. Too far. Yeah, that's what they do. They like to cry. Man, that nigga say, my nigga say my name one more time with some <laughs> shit. I'm going to start letting all kind of shit go that niggas think I don't got. It's a lot of niggas around him think it's his niggas that ain't his niggas. First of all, yeah. let's get one thing straight, bro. My daughter's 18 years old, right? Yeah. My daughter has never had a sidewalk in front of her house. Oh. Ever in life has she seen a sidewalk in front of her house. Now, if you go to the ghetto, you know what you got? Sidewalks. Right. The only nigga that's going to say they ran a nigga out of their neighborhood that ain't in the neighborhood. Hey, bro, I haven't lived in my neighborhood. Um, I don't hang out in the ghetto. I'm a millionaire. You understand what I'm telling you? I don't... Um, I don't blame you, bro. I don't, I don't hang out in the ghetto. You, I'm a millionaire, bro. You know... Uh, I, I, I'm going to be real. I, maybe I created my own ghetto. You know, I got... That's a thing. Hold on. Like, I, I don't know. Did not check it out. You know, this is a, this my backyard. Oh, yeah. Nice. Oh. No, this, this yeah, is my backyard. Why, why? <laughs> Bro, 
Nah, nigga, why you showing that? I got a nigga. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. I'm going to show you why I don't hang out in the ghetto. So why they right, say I'm you gonna... ride around in bulletproof videos? Yeah. <laughs> Bro, you know the thing. In order for you to know something is bulletproof, you got to be there when you saw me get it bulletproof. <laughs> uh, whatever, nigga. You know, do I got bulletproof shit? Every nigga with money does. But, you know, look, nah, this is my backyard, nah. Right? Miniature golf, you know. Oh, big man, ass. that's the life, like, bro. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen. I'm going to show you why I don't hang out in a motherfucking ghetto. <laughs> no, nah, but look, it's my backyard, right? You know, it was raining the gazebo area. You know, this, this is... This the backyard. That's the in ground. Fire done. Not, not. That's I'm, now I'm finna take you to why I don't gotta go to the ghetto. I challenge Big U. Show me half this. You a broke nigga. You still live in the hood. <laughs> hey, but oh, Big B, you oh, say he gonna oh, hold out the hood like he own anything in that motherfucker. Man, get the fuck out of here. Hey, stun on them niggas, man. Fuck that shit. Not hold. No. Trying to see something. Nah, we hey. in the back door. That's dope. Nah, we in the dope. back door, bro. <laughs> no. <laughs> nigga, nigga, this is going to go crazy. I swear to God, everybody going to pick this shit up. But no, nah, nah. um. All right. Listen, listen, we in the back. Don't mind, nigga. Me and you both know the truth. Me and you both know what you said in that back fucking room. I just went in what you told me, bro. Me and you both know what I told you. You know shit you didn't send me, nigga. Stop capping. How you look at yourself being a nigga you say you is, bro, and you lying to these niggas? Is you scared of these niggas? Keep it real. On Baby Gates, I got a homie named Jacob Pone who was back there with us, who eyes was like this, hearing the shit you were saying about Nipsey Hussle, nigga. You a, you a fraud, nigga. Keep it real, nigga. You been knew about that footage, nigga. You wanted me to put it out, nigga. Talking about his wife ain't cooperating. You in line with the first baby mama. You want to make her the first lady to show the other girl, Lord London, that... Nipsey was still fucking on the baby mama while they was together so you could do something around her. He was a fake nigga, bro. On my mama, you fake, bro. These niggas and any nigga know me, know me. They said one thing they say. He'll talk that shit. But if he's saying it, he gonna stand on it. Have to be. Right? My nigga, this is just one of my spots. I got another spot with an elevator in it that I'm at two, three months. I got another spot down there on a, uh, that's 8,500 square feet. I don't let nobody live in none of my shit. It be a stair fully furnished. If it's there, when I get there, I'm there. If I'm not, I'm not. So my thing is, no, I'm 45 years old. My son is not baby whack or tiny whack. I'm not a gangbanger. Fuck no. I don't do no street business. I don't sell weed. I don't sell crack. I don't rob niggas. What reason do I have to be in the hood? That's now, a my fact, bro. is over there every day. I got a studio down there that's operating with a bunch of little hood niggas in there, whether I'm there or not, from all walks of life. But what reason do I have to be in the hood? That's a family fact, I'm bro. living, nigga. You niggas is still trying to die. Bars. I'm living and you niggas is still trying to die. If you want to stay a hamster all your life, so be it. Hey, look, nigga, I got some dope. Nigga, let me show you this dope I got tonight. Nigga, you see this dope? Nigga, see that? Nigga, see that dope? I own this dope. The fans, no Rico. Nigga, that's dope, nigga. Bro, I just shipped. Six 45 foot containers of dope of a diapers, nigga, that I own. You see them shits? You see them shits? That's dope, nigga. I'm pushing weight, nigga. Hey, look, them is going in the hood. <laughs> Come on, bro. It's levels to this shit. You gotta remember, right? I'm not just a manager.
you know, this fucked on and be up. Go scroll down to the bottom of them albums and you'll see 100 Entertainment, Fifth Amendment Entertainment. I have ownership in them albums as well. You know, as you will see Black Wall Street and you will see, uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> Drillmatic or whatever the fuck it is that's going on at the time, right? So, but once again, these dudes that be talking... They only claim the fame. That nigga Big U 55 is claim the fame. It's some street shit. And you got a contract with the LAPD, bro. You know, I was going to let it go. But nigga, I'm going to talk my shit. Because we both know we just still side to side, nigga. And ain't neither one of us no punk, nigga. It's going to be what it's going to be, nigga. You know that like I know that. I ain't going to take that away from you. You ain't take it from me. But me and you both know, nigga, you didn't watch my hustle and you didn't watch my grind. You are caught up in the streets. I'm caught up in the world. It's a difference. Show me how many steps you got in your passport, nigga. You don't want me to get to pulling mine out. It's around here somewhere. Show me how many steps you got in your passport, nigga. I know what you done told me, nigga. What you done stood right here in this house and told me, nigga. You know, nigga. You know what you know. But then you want to act like, oh, I don't know what's going on. You know exactly what's going on, bro. I just went, matter of fact, did not hold on. We're going to do this right here. Hold on. Niggas is crazy, bro. Hold on. I found the phone. This niggas is crazy. Niggas sending me niggas contracts, bro. Want me to rape they... F nigga, this man is gone, nigga. I'm showing more respect to the man than you. This man is gone. What you mean, bro? That nigga been in the ground 40 days. You didn't say none of this when he was alive. So is it, it, do you think there's some type of way in which you and Big U could actually... Never, he's a snake, bro. It's gonna be his, his best bet to stay the fuck away from me, and I'm gonna stay the fuck away from him, because some nigga, he know what it is, nigga. He can talk, like, I know what it is with him, he know what it is with me. He can say what the fuck he want. He know. I done helped that nigga out in a hundred different ways. Niggas be running around here thinking, no, nigga, you was not the plug, bro. You was not the plug. You know who the plug was, bro. Stop capping, my nigga. Like, this nigga right here, this... But see, the, the, when he do this fake-ass shit, it let me know I made the right decision, bro, to get the fuck away from him. Because really, it wasn't benefiting me none. Just keeping it real. Every time a nigga call, hey, whack, you got this plug, hey, whack, you got this plug, now nah, I ain't got to worry about a nigga asking me about nothing, bro. And I like it like that. I'm in a transition of my life. You right. I'm not in the street till I get one of these 10 cars I got and go do what the fuck I got to do. When you see me, you see me, nigga. If it's a problem, let it be a problem. We going to deal with the problem the same way we all deal with problems. Nigga, you eat shit, sleep, bleed, nigga, and breathe just like I do, nigga. You ain't no different or no more nothing than no other nigga, nigga. It's real shit. Oh, some real shit like this shit be so fake, bro. But uh, I want him to, I I want him to tell me I'm lying about them contracts. Yeah, he don't talk about that though, since he's so pro Nipsey. He's yeah, the plug. So. Plug the what? I challenge anybody. Show me a big U music project that's done anything. Please go show it to me, bro. Since you want to question my accolades, show it to me. I'm waiting. Damn, that, but you saying that is like taking about eight plaques, over. bro. I got Same. plaques that I don't even put up, my nigga. Look. Look. Hey, y'all, look, nigga. Here's this one. Here's a one on the ground. Look, look, bro. No cap. Still bubble wrap. Plaques. Platinum. I ain't, I ain't even put them up. Look, that's one. They got another one. Go! I got plaques. I ain't even put up. Show me one, nigga. Oh, damn well, 
What you went in Allen, Allen office with my bout? Nigga, you was trying to derail my motherfucking budgets, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You know what? You know what? Wait. Wait. It's real shit, bro. Oh, he ain't in the hood. Nigga, fuck the hood, nigga. I got my own hood. You niggas' hoods is getting brought up and tore down. They can't (laughs) tear out my hood. I own them. That's the Fendi fact, bro. Nigga, you niggas, niggas' hoods these days is 50 deep. I got enough room for 300 in the backyard. I got my own hood. Nigga, look. I got hood surveillance. See what I'm saying? I got my own hood. I got a living room in my bedroom. I don't know. What's that? Couple portions. Hey, y'all, pink. Share the room and pink. What's up. that? Serene. Hey, look. That nigga better stop playing with me, bro. Hey, big you. Move out the hood. How about that? I'm done talking about him. But if he keep on running my name, I'm I'm, going to get on it. I'm going to start. I'm going to get on these contracts. I'm going to get on this shit, these Blackberry phones. Stop running my name. It's 2023, bro. Live your life, bro. Because all it's going to be is a bunch of back and forth, and it ain't going to lead to nothing positive, nigga. Ain't no busters over here. Like, ain't nothing over there. Like, nigga, you know, nigga. You know. What does he have? What? Well, if I ain't got nothing, but I got about eight plaques, what you got with none? I challenge anybody to show me Big U's accolades in music. How much publishing you own? How many albums is your albums? Show me a motherfucking budget. I challenge you. Hey, man, that's a fair challenge, bro. All no, he said it, right? Happen. He said it. He said that I have no projects under my belt that's worth anything, right? He said it. Okay, I can put mine up. I got a million dollars on power root. You ain't got 50%, 30%, nigga, of the motherfucking accolades I got in music. Now, nigga, we can put it up. Since whack ain't. You know what you got more than me, Big U? More time in prison. <laughs> you didn't have enough money for an attorney. You got me there. You win. But Damn. other than that, Niggas come on, be bro. hating, bro. You fed the nigga and everything. You got to hate. Bro, come that's on, a pro- bro. that's a problem in the black community, period, bro. Niggas just be hating for no reason. Niggas be crazy, bro. This thing, nigga, tonight, when I get to sending you this content, you going to... You gonna sit down? That's why I'll be like, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna post it on my blog. House of Cloud. I don't pay these niggas no attention, bro, cause they know the truth. It's the homie from Bobby. We ain't talking, but he know the truth on this nigga in this situation. Me, him, and Sugar all on the phone, nigga. You know the truth. But the more you sit there and fake like it didn't happen, lets me know you's a fake ass nigga. The more you sit there and fake like you wasn't trying to snake. Lower London, Nipsey kids and his family for his motherfucking uh, music money behind his back after death. Let me know you's a fake ass nigga, bro. It's a fake nigga, bro. And I got, listen, that shit I didn't get rid of. R&B, I think I'm, I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> Tonight, I'm gonna let you see it, bro. There's no reason, let's set the table, why this Paul Rue, as you say, should have the Rolling 60 contract with the page open up to what you want to sue the estate for after Nipsey went in the ground. Same year. Coming from you. Leave me alone, bro, because I'm going to get to talking, my nigga. And one thing me and you both know, nigga, real to real, we know what each other know, bro. We know what each other know. Stop playing with me, bro. It's the last time I'm going to say it. I see some more shit. Nigga, ain't no stopping me. I'm going to get reckless as reckless come, nigga. And I ain't going to get no fucks about nothing. Because I I, I, it's all ready. It's ready to go. And then, nigga, nigga's going to see the real truth. Leave me alone, bro. That's it.
Nigga, you run it to me, it's going to be what it's going to be, nigga. We both know that's going to turn out on both sides. It's a lose-lose situation. Well, leave me alone. Now what you better do. But again, it's a million-dollar challenge out there. Big U, I challenge you to $1 million that you don't have.